Oh, hi there. You know, we've been sitting around here this afternoon, Echo and I, and we've been singing and whistling. First I would whistle, and then Echo would whistle. And every once in a while, Echo would go over here and play on the piano like this. And every day, I imagine, at least I hope you do some of these things. Maybe you whistle when you're walking down the street or on the way to school. And maybe you have a piano at home. Maybe you can even play a piano. Or maybe you make up songs all by yourself. Do you every once in a while? Do you ever just sit down and hum a little tune, any tune that you've never heard before, and just hum? Maybe you even make up some words to go with your hum. Well, I have a song that I'd like to sing for you today. Maybe Echo is flying. He's flying around here now in the house of magic window. Maybe he'll come back and join us after a while. But the song is about an animal. And it's about an animal that you know. And you listen very carefully to the words of the song. And you'll be able to tell what kind of an animal this is. And there isn't just one of them. There's more than one. So you listen to see what kind of an animal it is and how many there are. And there's some motions that we can do with our hands, too. So do you think you can do all of these things all at the same time, listening to the words and trying to find out how many of these animals there are and moving your hands at the same time? Do you think you can do all that? Well, let's try it then. The song goes like this. There were four little ducks that I once knew Big ones, fat ones, and skinny ones, too. But the one little duck with the feathers on his back, he ruled the roost with a quack, quack, quack. Well, did you listen? Then what kind of animals were they? They were ducks. Do you remember how many they were? There were four of them, that's right. Well, now there's something else I'm going to ask you. There were all different kinds of ducks in this song. Can you name them all? Well, listen to it again, and we can go through the motions again and see if you can pick out the different kinds of ducks that are in the song this time. There were four little ducks that I once knew, big ones, fat ones, and skinny ones too. But the one little duck with the feathers on his back he ruled the roost with his quack, quack, quack. Now then, there were big ones and fat ones and skinny ones too, weren't there? But there was a very special little duck in this song. He had something that evidently none of the other little ducks had. And he's the only one in the song that went quack, quack, quack. Do you know what it was that made this little duck all special? Well, let's listen again. Maybe by now you can sing part of the song with me. And if you can, why don't you just sing right along and we can do all the motions. And we're looking this time, or listening to the words to find out what made this one little duck very special. Are you ready? All right. There were four little ducks that I once knew. Big ones, fat ones, skinny ones too. But the one little duck with the feathers on his back he ruled the roost with a quack, quack, quack. What made this little duck special? It was the feathers on his back, wasn't it? And that made him the ruler of the roost, and he's the only duck in the song that went quack, quack, quack. So you know, this afternoon, I thought we just might write down the words to this song so that we all have them on a piece of paper and so that we could all look at this paper and then sing the song. But we're not going to write them down like your mother or your dad might write them down. We're not going to use letters to write the words of the song. We're going to use pictures instead. Did you bring some paper and your crayons with you? I have mine out here on the desk. Hope you remembered to bring yours, because if you did, then we can write down the song with pictures right now. And this is what we want to do with our paper, first of all. We want to take one piece of paper here, and turn it so that it's longer from the top to the bottom and it's short side to side. So you see the long way is this way here. And then we'll take the very top of the paper like this and we'll fold it right down to the bottom. And hold it there with our hands and then we can 
Straighten out this fold with the finger and hold it with the other hand. Straighten out the other fold. There, now it's folded once, isn't it? So we can take the top of the paper again, like this, and fold it to the bottom. And run our fingers down this side and then down this side. There we are. Now let's open it up and see what we have. We have some folds in the paper now, haven't we? There's one here, and one in the middle, and one down here. And so that we can see them, we won't lose track of them. We can bend them back just a little bit so that the paper lies nice and flat like this. Then we can take our crayon or pencil and draw right along the folds of the paper. We'll try and stay as straight as we can, but it doesn't really make any difference if our pencil go a little bit crooked. And here's another one right here. So we'll put it on there like that. And then there's one more. There we are. Now then, this divides the paper into different parts, doesn't it? Let's count them and see how many there are. There's, we'll start with the bottom here. There's one space here, two, three, and four. So there are four spaces. And do you know what we're going to do with these spaces? Well, in the top one right here, we're going to put the first part of the first line of the song. And you listen, and I'll sing it for you again. There were four little ducks. And that's as much of the song as we're going to put right in here. And the song said there were four little ducks, so we better draw four little ducks. And we can do it just like we did before, by putting the circles down for their heads. And we want to make sure that we're going to have enough room to get four of them in. So let's put down four circles. And that way we'll make sure that we can get all the ducks in this one piece here. Those are the circles for the heads. And we'll put some very light circles for the bottom. There, now, now we can hook them all together. Right around the top we go, around the back of the little duck. And then we can put the bills on. Remember, the bills are long, flat on the end, aren't they? And an eye, of course. There we go. And their feet. Remember how their feet are? They have a piece of webbing right between their little toes, haven't they? So there's a little bunch of feet. And then we'll go over here and make another one. We already have, we have one of the little ducks. Now we want to make two of them. Put his eye in. And his foot on there. Now, here comes the third one. Same way. They don't all have to look alike, you know, because nothing looks exactly like anything else. You might think that the leaves that would come off the same tree would look the same, but you pick some leaves sometime and look, they're quite different. There we are. One more to go here. And I broke the crayon, so I'll have to take some of the paper off of it. We're all ready to go again. Now we go here for this last little duck. I don't have very much room to put him in there, do I? I'll just have to squeeze him in there. Though. There we are. Better put little wings on all these. And now we have the first part of the song. So let's all sing it together. And we'll sing the first part of the first line, and then I'll sing the part that's going to go on the next line here. There were four little ducks that I once knew. And remember when we sang that I once knew, we all pointed to ourselves, didn't we? And since we were pointing to ourselves, I guess maybe we should draw a picture of ourselves in here. And that's just exactly what we're going to do. Just our heads, I think that will be enough. So I'm going to draw a picture of me. Probably won't look like me. But then maybe your picture won't look like you either. So we'll draw a picture and we'll just pretend that it's a picture of us. And if you have braids, well, you'll have to put braids on, on for your hair, won't you? I'll just put a little piece of 
just to clear out your side. Couple of eyes. And nose. And the mouth. And now we have, there were four little ducks that I once knew. And the next line says, big ones, fat ones, and skinny ones too. So that's what goes in the next space down here. A big one, make a big one here. As big as we can, we have to keep him inside here, don't we? Put a little bill on him, and eye, and some big feet. Big one, and a fat one. I wonder how one draws a fat duck. Well, I'm going to try. You try and draw a fat duck, too. Well, that looks like a fat duck. <laughs> I wonder. He still has to have feet, though. And a skinny one. I've never seen a skinny duck, I don't think. But I'll try and make one. Maybe that's a skinny duck. They still all have webbed feet, don't they? So there's big ones and fat ones and skinny ones too. And now I'll point on the paper just what we've done. And everything that we haven't done has to go down here in this last space. So you listen to see what it is it has to go down there. There were four little ducks that I once knew. Big ones, fat ones, and skinny ones. Too, but the one little duck with the feathers on his back, he ruled the roost with the quack, quack, quack. Well, it's the little duck with the feathers on his back, and he's the one that says quack, quack, quack. So, when we make his bill, we're going to have to make it open like this, aren't we? So that he really can say his quack, quack, quack. Oh, I'm not going to have enough room for him on the paper. I'll have to get some more paper and paste it down there. Be sure and put the feathers on his back and the roof that he's on there. And now we have the whole song. So let's all sing it together. You could read your picture words and I'll read my picture words. And I better turn it around so I can read it up right side up. And we can all do the hands with it, okay? There were four little ducks that I once knew. Big ones, fat ones, and skinny ones too. But the one little duck with the feathers on his back, he ruled the roost with the quack, quack, quack. <laughs>